okay so now we'll do this module on epidemic modeling so we're going to focus on the sir model in this module okay so what sir represents so s is for susceptible i for infected r for recover okay so at any time t we can say s of t is the number of susceptible people who could get infected i of t is the number of infected people who are currently infected r of t is the number of people who recovered from the infection either uh, recovered means like from the disease or they are no longer uh, existing okay all right so the assumptions for this model are the total population that is the number of people is a constant okay then uh, the transmission rate or the contact rate c is constant now we'll see more about this contact rate in the next few slides but um, what it represents is the fraction of the contact say per day per infected individual that can become a suspected person to become infected okay so the recovery rate r is a constant so that is one over the number of days it takes for an infected person to recover from the disease all right so at any time t s of t plus i of t plus r of t equals n so this is the assumption of the total population n being constant okay so <clears throat> now initially uh, we do not have any recovering people so I, like you know on day zero when the infection start is starting we don't have any people who have recovered so we can say r of zero is zero s of in that case then x of zero plus i of zero will be equal to n because r of zero is zero all right so that is sir model okay let's stop this video with this